Hi, welcome and welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk about narcissistic families. And I know I've shared about narcissistic families in previous videos and I've also shared that I grew up in a narcissistic family. And what I want to share with you today is that in narcissistic families, business is a bust. What do I mean by that? Well, I don't know about you, but growing up, I often heard comments like, shh, don't put our business in the streets, and shh, don't air our dirty laundry, or shh, don't, don't talk to anybody about this. And there was all this air of like protectiveness about the family business and what was going on in the family. And I remember feeling kind of intimidated, like, oh my gosh, this is serious, like, uh-oh. And as it turns out, in narcissistic families, there's a lot of bad business that goes on behind closed doors. And that's definitely one of the characteristics of narcissistic families, is that there are all kinds of toxic behaviors and all kinds of dirty deeds that are happening that no one is talking about and certainly not publicizing. And these are some of the very things that need to be addressed in order for, one, the vulnerable in the narcissistic families to get the help that they need and get the support and even get away. And also, two, for the toxic individuals in the narcissistic families to be able to get the help that they need or to be able to move away from the vulnerable and stop the abuse or stop the toxic behavior or the toxic interactions. No one wants to invest in a bad business. And one of the things that a lot of people who are looking to invest in a company, whether it's trading in the stock market or just even investing capital of, of some other kind into a business is the balance sheet. What's it look like? Who's running the company? What are they like? What do they believe in? Especially nowadays, I think more and more people are really demanding transparency from the companies that they are investing in and also the businesses that they patronize. And in narcissistic families, a lot of toxic behavior happens behind closed doors. This could include incest. This could include substance abuse, verbal, emotional, financial, psychological, sexual abuse. And there are a lot of people who get hurt in the process. There's usually a toxic pecking order and a lot of toxic dynamics, a lot of triangulation, pitting people against each other, playing favorites, and a lot more. Feel free to share your experience in the comments below. But overall, business is bad. It's bad. And the balance sheet doesn't look good in narcissistic families at all and no one wants to put their money, time, or energy into a bad investment. The other issue with narcissistic families is that when the business is kept within the family, there's no outside influence, which means there's no outside help or perspective or resources that can be allocated to address the weak nature of the business or the instability of the business the the decline of the business and as a result the officers so to speak in the business are not able to get the help that they need to grow or learn or anything like that and the business ultimately will tank and in the case of a narcissistic family specifically a lot of times you'll get implosions self-destruction. Did you grow up in a narcissistic family? Share your experience in the comments below. I'd love to hear more about your experience. But in the meantime, just know that when it comes to narcissistic families, business is a bust. And it's not really a place to really invest your time, energy, effort, attention, resources, and the like, or for others as well, who may be looking to 
enter the family maybe through marriage or a relationship or something like that. You're not alone and you're not crazy. Know who you're dealing with, know who you are. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.